Hello, my dear children. You know, it's a second English class. Do you remember the story of Island? The story of Fisherman and his wife? Okay, I will help you to recollect your memories on this chapter. Now, you all of you look at the screen and I will show you the main events of the story as picture by picture. All of you, please look on the screen. Yes, you can see there. Yes. Okay, my children. Did you get the idea of the story now? Did you get the memory about this? Yes, well. And today, we have to do a activity, an activity about this chapter. Isn't it? It is given in your textbook, page number 30. Okay, my dear children. Now, in this chapter, we have to do a conversation in between the fisherman and his wife. You can see this in the page number 13 in your textbook. The story ends with a sentence. The pieces reflected their images. Finally, they saw their own images in the mirror. The, uh, the fisherman and his wife. Isn't it? Yes. And then, what would be the likely conversation in between them? Okay. This one you have to write now. You can see here in your page number 13, the fisherman and his wife didn't speak for some time. Then they started a conversation. Write the conversation between them. Can you see the activity? Yes. I think you all have got the idea about this chapter so that you can write this conversation yourself. You can imagine and write it yourself. Okay. Okay, my dear children. Now let us move on to our next chapter, The Magic Mirror. And first, let me read this story for you. While reading this story, you may mark the new words. Okay, you may underline the new words for you. This is the story of the journey of two children through a magic mirror. It is a very exciting story. You will surely like it. Okay? You may take the page number 16. Let me read the story for you. The Magic Mirror On a rainy afternoon, having nothing to do, Ammu and her brother, Arun, was bored. So they sat looking out at the rain. To, time, to pass time, they decided to explore the attic of their home. The attic was dark and dusty. They came across a mirror which was surprisingly clean and shiny. While they looked at their reflection in it, the old grandfather clock in the attic struck five. Okay, my dear children. What is the beginning of the story? Okay. When was the time? Okay, good. And who are the main characters in the story now? 
Yes. Ammu and Arun. They were bored. At that time, they decided to go to this attic. Okay. Let me read the rest. That's weird. Arun said, I thought the clock was junk. They felt the mirror was calling them. Arun stretched his hand towards the mirror. His hand went right through the mirror as if it were water. He withdrew his hand hastily. They looked at each other in amazement. Shall we step into the mirror? Arun asked. Ammu nodded. One, two, three. They stepped into the mirror. Yes. What happened then now? What happened then? Yes. At that time, the clock struck five. And then they thought the clock was junk. But it is a good clock. It was working. And they felt the mirror is calling them. The mirror is calling them. And Arun took it in his hand. Okay. And he just inserted his hand into it. What happened? It is moved inside it. Moved inside the mirror like in the water okay and he withdrew his hand hastily okay he withdrew his hand fastly they looked at each other what is happening here they were so excited isn't it and then shall we step into the mirror Arun asked and Amu also nodded. One, two, three. They stepped into the mirror. Can you see this in the picture? Okay, well. Suddenly, they found themselves in a forest. They reached in a forest. And then it was quite dark. The leaves of the trees overhead blocked the sunlight. There was no proper light. It's just like in books where something magical happens, said Arun. It's so exciting. They were highly excited. They found their way out of the forest into fields of Blue and red flowers. Wow! What a magical sight it is. Can you imagine it? Okay. And the butterflies were flitting from flower to flower. Okay. Butterflies were flying from flower to flower. The fields were lit by the evening sun. The sunlight the slight sunlight can be seen there standing in the field was a white horse with silver wings wow it's pegasus that they found a white winged horse it is called pegasus what is its name okay good pegasus the winged horse it can it can a winged horse it can fly and exclaimed Ammo they walked towards it and Pegasus raised its head. Who are you? asked Pegasus. 
Arun answered shyly. I am Arun and this is Ammo. Pekka says, looked at them curiously. Hmm? Arun and Ammo, where did you come from? Pegasus asked. We came through a magic mirror. How did they come there? How did they reach there? Yes, through a magic mirror, said Ammo. Well, that would have been exciting, said Pegasus. It will soon be dark. I had better go home, said Pegasus. Pegasus was eager to go to his home. And at that time, can we come to? Who asked it? Okay, the children asked it to Pegasus. Can we come to? Of course. Climb onto my back. You can come with me. Okay, Pegasus said. They scrambled on to Pegasus' back. They scrambled onto Pegasus' back. They soared through the air. They soared through the air. Finally landed on soft, warm grass under a big tree. They finally reached under a big tree. They then flew through a forest. They then flew through a forest. A field and over a hill to a cottage. They reached into a cottage. A man in a blue robe, in a blue dress, opened the door and asked them to follow him in. A man who wore, who wore blue dress opened the door and asked them to follow him. They followed him into a room where they saw a mirror. They again saw a mirror. It looked exactly like the mirror in their attic. It is almost like their mirror in their attic. Step into the mirror and you will be home. Who said it? Yes, the said the Pegasus said Pegasus. The children thanked Pegasus. They stepped into the mirror and found themselves back in the attic. Wow! Is surprising. They reach their home. They back their home. It was still raining. It was still raining. Arun looked at Ammo and said, That was the most exciting adventure we have ever had. Yes, really? Ammo said, they liked this experience very well. They shared their emotions. They heard their mother calling them. At that time, their mother called them. They got down from the attic. They got down from the attic and walked into the kitchen just in time for dinner. What was the time then? Yes. The time was ready for their dinner. They told their mother about their adventure, but she didn't believe it. When they went to bed, they dreamed of going through the mirror and having more exciting adventures. Okay. This is the story of Arun and Ammo. Yes. 
Did you get the story now? Did you enjoy it? Okay, very good. And so, look at uh, page number 18. They can see one activity, very simple one. All of you, take a look in that. Let me read the question for you. Arun and Ammu stepped into the magic mirror. Can you identify the places and things they saw? Write the names of places, beings and things in the boxes given below in proper order and complete the flowchart. It's a very simple one for you. Can you see this on the screen? It is given, the flowchart is given. Attic, this is the starting. Okay. And next one, and the next, and next field. And then, and next is given cottage. And the last, attic. You can choose your answer from the table given below. Here it is given Pegasus, mirror, cottage, forest, mirror and field. Cottage and field is already given there. So you can choose the answers from the rest. Pegasus, mirror, forest and mirror. Okay, right? I think you all have enjoyed this story well. And so you can do this activity yourself. Okay, keep... Uh, watching this video uh, twice or thrice and then you do your work i wish you a happy day for you thank you stay home stay safe